to our third and final topic. Games we are playing. Ashton, what games are you playing as uh, at, at right now, which is well, the end of Oct- – it's, it's November 1st so <laughs> when let's start we're with, recording let's this. Let's start with right now, and then we'll kind of lead to where we're headed for oh. the end of the month. Okay. Okay? Because we kind of have plans. Yes. That'll be up probably by then. Okay. We'll be uh, – yeah. You talk, and I'll do this. Okay. So right now what I'm playing is Apex – uh, season two, we're just trying to grind it out, get all the stuff done. Uh, by this time, the duos event will have been going on since November. 5th. The full episode will come out during that time. Okay. Um. So, Apex. if you're referencing that, no, oh. I'm not. I'm referencing another thing that we're going to be doing together. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> It's a free game for us on Game Pass. League of Legends. No, fuck you. Okay. Um, Outer Worlds. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. We're going to be doing a uh, couch yeah. co-op game. Grim More stage. on that at the end of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm playing Apex right now. Uh, I'm about to start getting back into Halo so I can start grinding it out. Uh, let's see what else I've been playing. A little Call bit of, of Duty. Oh, fuck Call of Duty. Call of Duty sucks. That's all I'm going to say. Do you play the campaign? No, the campaign's really good, though. I heard the campaign was good. The campaign's good. good. Uh, IGN gave multiplayer a 7.5? Oh I would give it a 5. No. Okay. We heard your, lack of a better term, bitching and moaning last episode. So, <laughs> Hey, man. Whatever. <laughs> I only speak the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just not that good. Yeah. The the story though is amazing. You have to play the story. If you download the game, fuck multiplayer. Honestly, it's really shitty. But the campaign is amazing. I can't shit on it for that. The campaign is so good so far. So I enjoy it. I haven't played. I did not play yet it. though. I don't have it. Oh, oh there oh goes no. our light. Oh no. I can go get the battery. Get the battery. Keep going. Get the battery. Hurry. Um. Anyway, uh, what else am I playing? Uh, a little bit of Blair Witch. I've only played a little bit. And... <laughs> took it off the I, I did. <laughs> I took the battery off the charger. So hopefully it'll last in the next, like, 15 minutes. Oh, fuck. I'm seeing spots now. Um, ouch. Uh, we played a little bit of uh, SmackDown vs. Raw, which was kind of fun. We'll see how those videos do. Um, what else am I playing? I was going to start playing something else, too. Shit. You go. You go. Um, I'll start with, I started playing League of Legends again, and I really enjoy it. Um, so I started playing because the 10-year anniversary happened uh, back in October, um, and they did a whole week, well, 10 days, technically, of celebration for the 10 year anniversary which is crazy that league of legends has now turned 10 years in 2019 came out in 2009 and i remember when it was not very many champions <laughs> and now and then when i jump back in now there's like over 140 and i'm like oh i think there's even more than that uh, but it's like it's crazy how many there are now um i got back into it and it was like riding a bike because now i used to play smite pretty regularly and then i w- kind of stopped playing league of legends at that time and then i kind of haven't played a moba in probably like three or four years and then i was just like hey i'll, I'll download it get the rewards like have a good time playing it for the next couple of days and try to get all of them and then at the end of the 10 year after you complete all 10 days you get an exclusive skin for the event called anniversary and it's a skin for annie and who I usually main middle with. Um, Annie, and are you okay? Uh, huh? Annie, are you okay? She's a little girl, and she has a teddy bear named Tibbers. And that's her ult. And she goes, have you seen my bear Tibbers? And so when you – you actually can – you have a stun. So if you cast four spells, you can then get a stun for Annie's passive and or for Annie's next spell. So if you combine it with Tibbers – 
and you just drop because you literally drop this giant bear <laughs> and he just like kills anything in his way and if you drop it on somebody you'll stun that person that champion and then tibbers will just rake havoc on that person um yeah that's a big that's a big bear and then wow. Annie's just this little girl. But she has really cool skins. Like, she has a uh, Alice in Wonderland one, and it's Tibbers with, like, bunny ears, and then she's dressed as Alice. Uh, and then I started playing Ash as my AD carry uh, in bot lane. And then I, te I tried out Sona uh, as my support, and I was like, man, I really love playing support because she has – she plays three different songs – and each song does a different thing. So one will boost speed for you and your teammate. The other will heal you and your teammate. And then the other one uh, is an attack. And it gives you, I think, a little bit of defense, I think, if I'm remembering it right. And then also deals damage uh, if there's any nearby minions or champions nearby. And she'll toss out. And then her ult is a stun. She just fires a ray and it, like, stops whoever's in that pathway. Um yeah, I just really I, – I definitely like it. I, I've been talking with Jameson about it, and now he really wants a PC so he can play League of Legends again. Uh, and uh, I also watched the documentary on Netflix. It's actually really good. So if you want to watch, like, the start of League of Legends and Riot and how Riot has become it. Um, and then I learned that they were also making a new game. They are making several new games, uh, bringing League of Legends to mobile, bringing League of Legends to console. Uh, they're making a fighting game and they're making a hero shooter sort of game. Uh, I think that was all the games. I think there were five, but I'm not remembering the fifth one. Yeah. Um, I started playing also Outer Worlds, which is probably going to be my game of the year. I haven't beat it yet. Resident Evil 2 is still sitting at my game of the year, but that one is definitely... It's almost there, man. I, I, like, I have put in... The last couple man, days. A double-A game at the Game of the Year, huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, that, must be, that means it's really fucking good then. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't really look at the budget as being Game of the Year. Um, a, like a thing that causes it because, like, I I gave the Wolf uh, – not Wolf Among Us. Um, Wolf the, walk in, the Walking Dead, Telltale's The Walking Dead, when it came out in 2013 – I gave that my game of the year 2013. I still, to this day, think that that was the best game that came out and in 2013. And Last, and last of Us came out in 2013. So, like, I, you know, I didn't play Last of Us at that time. Still haven't. But there, there is just this uh, – I don't really use that as my marker. But, but the, the game has so many things that I think it hits the marks of. It's, for some reason – I think Elder Scrolls is boring. Like all those games are boring. They, I don't like the fantasy setting. Fallout, I feel is almost there. I just don't like it. Space sci-fi hilarity in an RPG. Obsidian just gets it. I think Obsidian just that is what they should put on the box. Obsidian just gets it, and they make that game so funny and amazing and they hit jokes there are moments let me tell you this part here because this blew me away of how much dialogue options you have in this game so it is so close to realistically like moments of conversation there's a moment where i'm not going to spoil it i'm just going to tell you a scenario without you know going too much into it there's a scenario where a person will name this person x x has a crush on this side character that you just came across. And so X is telling you, like, you know, what does this mean? Like, how, wh what should I do? What, like, wh what would you do in this situation? So you have to have this conversation with X of, like, you know, let's, let's go to the bar and hang out. And then we could talk about this. And so you do. You go to the bar and you just talk about it. Like how a friend would naturally just go to the bar and talk about a situation you have a, like a drink you get to tell x like to try beer wine or scotch and i i gave him wine at the very end because that was kind of like what they were trying to go for but if you want to see some funny moments i guarantee if you pick scotch they'll probably get drunk um but they didn't get that for me uh and then there's like a moment where this is a different part 
but like X is trying to talk to the person that they've kind of like fallen for, and you can kind of like because X is telling you, oh, introduce me to to Y, introduce me to Y, and like when you're not in that area, so when you're having the conversation with Y, then you kind of like go, oh. And X has something to say, and X likes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh <laughs> my told, god! <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna just throw that into. Me. And, and so there's an option that says, n- um, "Nudge X for support," and you're like, so you just click it, and in your mind you have the picture. You just did this, like, and then you do that, and then there's another option that will give you to do that again, and then after it's done, there's an option that says. Um, lean over to X and tell them, uh, good job. And then they look to you and they're like, thanks, thanks for helping me out there. And then the person will then go into dialogue with you again. There's just like so many of those good dialogue moments. And I feel like I've never played an RPG game that's had these really awesome choices that you can do. Hmm. There are also choices that you could be a complete asshole. <laughs> and yes. I think that that is also what makes the game really fun. If you want to, like, just create an abomination and go out into the world of Outer Worlds and just wreak havoc, that is a thing you can do. And you could be a complete yes. tool and just tell everyone off. And That sounds oh God, amazing. There's so many. And you could kill anyone. Like, when I say that... I think you literally can because you have your gun with you all the time. <laughs> so, like, there's never a moment that you can be like, you know how in some games where they're like, oh, this is like, obviously, we don't Safe want. Safe area. Yeah, we don't want you killing any of these characters, so you get to put the gun away. Nope. They do that. You can freaking kill anyone you want <laughs> and just be in a psycho. And, uh, yeah, so it, there is a morale thing. I have not actually seen the morale. So, like, I'm not seeing, like, like when you press start, you know how sometimes they'll show, yeah. like, you're good, you're bad. I don't see that. It's just dialogue options get opened up based on what you choose. Oh, interesting. Anyway, that's my little quick banter of Outer Worlds. Go into your thing. <laughs> I've talked too much. No, I mean, that's that's that sounds pretty awesome. Can't wait to play it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got going on in terms of, like, streaming and stuff. I'm just doing Apex and Halo both. Trying to get a diamond in Apex and trying to get max rank in Halo for next year. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I don't have anything crazy going on. Might get Luigi's Son of Mansion 3. Mm, that did come out on October 31st. Yep. The only Halloween game. Uh, and it was released on a Thursday. It was really weird that that got out on that day. But So you're, you're playing Apex. Um, so your whole wh- what's your goals in that game? That you're trying to do? I'm just trying to move up in the rankings, okay. basically the leaderboard ranks. And that's for season three. We're on season two. Season two. Yeah. Well, when, when's season three? Does so it reset after each season? Yeah. Yeah. So they bring you down a whole division, a uh, whole rank. Okay. So if you were at rank ten, I don't know the things in there. If you're rank ten, next season they'll bring you down into rank nine, and then you got to work your way back up to ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, the event just ended. By the time you guys see this, um, the Halloween event is over, which sucked, in my opinion. Uh, was not good. Um, and then the Duos event's been going on since November 5th. Um, I haven't played it yet, so I wouldn't be able to tell you if it's any good. But I did like the uh, Iron Crown event, which was the Solos one. That was the first event that the game has seen. And that was pretty awesome, even though r- the rewards were pretty shit. So do you buy the Battle Pass for Apex? I do, and the cool thing about the Battle Pass is if you grind it all the way out, they give you your money back fully so you can buy the next one for free. I think Fortnite does that, too. I believe they do as well, yeah. yeah. Um, so how does the ranking work in that game? Does it, like, so it goes off is there placement. solo? Oh, okay. It goes off of placement, so it's you're always in a group of three for ranked, period. Like, you're always oh, in a group okay. of three. Um, but I mean, like, okay, so my I guess my question was, like, is there a solo Q rank and a no. duos Q rank? No, uh, triple. Okay, no. It's just, just one, one, one thing. You are there. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. What are the rankings? So the rankings are kind of weird. Uh, kills and assists are pretty much equal. Um, and basically, what ends up happening is you you'll have your kills that are worth a certain amount, and then every time you're going up in placement, like you're lasting longer than other people, your kill uh, number multiplies essentially the, the the points you get for your kills multiplies huh so you have a placement 
the score, which just depends on where you place in the match. And then your kill points are multiplied by your placement. And that's how you end up getting your placement points. Now, when you get higher ranked, it costs you rank points to get into that game. So you start off in a negative. Mm-hmm. So right now I'm in platinum and I'm starting out with negative 36. So oh, wow. a full win for me, if I win and get the five kills or assists, which is the cap for getting points for them, uh, the highest I can get is 189 points. Interesting. Okay. So what are the what are the tiers? Is it like bronze, you know, bronze, silver, silver gold, platinum, diamond, and then predator? Okay, Apex Predator, got it. Yeah, it's kind of a weird name, but, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, you said you were playing back uh, Halo again. Uh, Halo again as well, uh, just because I need to grind it out and get all the XP. Um, I'd like to bring custom games back if anybody wants to join. But, uh, Mixer.com slash Final Target? Yeah, that's where you'll find it. Um, so we'll start to see a little bit more of that cycling between that and Apex for the streams, mostly. Um, mostly? Probably, yeah, we'll... Have a few surprises here and there. That was an aliens reference, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> good for you. Hey, the series actually by now it should be over. It'll, it'll actually be the last episode. Will have come out last week, I believe. Um, yeah, that uh, it's pretty crazy. Just the random games that have kind of come out. Not very many things are like a lot of games pulled out, which was interesting. Doom moving to next year and. Uh, what else did Watch Dogs has now moved to 2021, 2020 to 2021. Like all the Ubisoft games moved out. Ghost Recon flat out fell on its face. So that game flopped. And then st- I think Star Wars is like the last game and Death Stranding got mediocre reviews. Oh, did it? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. By the time you're seeing this, I think you should be playing this. I think you should be now playing Death Stranding. We don't have it, uh, but yet, at the, this point, we probably do. But, um, yeah, I think it got like a 6.5 from IGN. Damn, I, can, I can I can look. Sad. I can look. Uh, just go ahead and banter for a second. Wow, yeah. I, I was seeing on uh, some social media posts, like, uh, going up against, like, these gigantic monsters. Like, it's fucking insane. I was like, okay, what do you... <laughs> you don't even look like you're equipped to deal with such a beast it's so fucking huge and uh you have like this whole cargo thing you're just carrying by a 6.8 6.8 oh 6.8 for my gen so terrible <sighs> here's the thing about 6.8 on ign scale it's an okay uh on our scale it's a lot harsher um it's a i could look that up as well do 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 it is a borrow. Um, borrow it, don't keep it. Which means, like, go get it at Redbox and call it a day. Uh, now, I don't know. I, I haven't played it. I'm still going to get it. I don't really... I will still buy sixes. Fives, I don't buy. I don't buy fives unless it's hilariously bad. Uh, when it comes to, like, Metacritics and IGN and things like that. Like... You do it for the video. I usually, <laughs> yeah, um, and that's part of the reason why we're also buying another product that's coming out in November as well. Is this thing Stadia? Um, so at this point, we will be at when the last episode comes out. We will be getting it on the nineteenth. Is what is what they say. Is what yeah, they say. Yeah, we have it pre-ordered. So uh, and we got the founders edition. We will. I don't know what we're going to do. There's, like, a lot that we could do. We have a lot of plans. I'm not going to say – don't say them yet. I'm not. Okay. There is a lot of stuff you wouldn't think yes. of that we're going to be doing to yes. test it. There will be a Stadia week coming out on the premiere week Very of in-depth. Stadia. You're not going to want to miss it. There's <laughs> a really serious video and a hilariously funny video that's coming out. So uh, it, it's just intriguing. So go and you'll hopefully enjoy that. I really hope it works. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Otherwise, um, the videos are not going to be good at all. No, they'll be great. <laughs> Bad or, or not, they're going to be great uh, <laughs> of the situation. Anyway, so Stadia will be coming out in November as well, and uh, we, we pre-ordered it. Uh, we will be on Stadia. We'll be one of the first people to be on the uh, old Stadia 
Network, I guess. I think they haven't really named that, have they? They just kind of named it Stadia. I think it's just Stadia. Yeah, the whole thing's Stadia. Not like Xbox has Xbox Live or PS Plus or things like that. It's Yeah, but they don't Stadia. really um, even – Xbox doesn't even call it Xbox Live anymore in yeah, terms they do. of like marketing. Yeah, they do. It's an Xbox Live card is what you buy. Well, yeah, for that, but like in terms of like advertisements. Well, they don't need to advertise it now. Now it's just kind of mandatory. But it, it's, but yeah, they say it like in game in Game Pass Ultimate. It says comes with Xbox Live, Game Pass, things like that. They still break it down. Maybe not. Maybe you're right on marketing. Maybe they don't. But they still use they it just as have a that, term. Like, orange lettering for the logo and everything. What? For oh. Xbox Live. No, I think it's just white letters now. <laughs> it's yeah. it just is now they, the regular they used to font. Go, like all about it, but yeah, well, because it was new and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I guess I guess Stadia doesn't really have that. It's just that's it's just that's Stadia. the thing. It's Stadia because um, you have to stream it anyway. There's only one way to play it. Yeah, but they just don't call it the network is like to communicate to people. There's no right. chat thing yet. Uh, that is the unique thing. I don't know what they're gonna do. They they do have a chat. They have obviously they have Google Hangouts. Yes, oh for a God. matter of speaking, no, it's it's in Stadia. It's oh, built in Stadia. Okay. There's no more Google Hangouts. I don't. I think they took that away with uh, Google Plus. But the what you can do it, as a what they said at E3 or a little bit before E3 was if we're playing Destiny, I can bring up your view while I'm playing. I don't want to do that, but I'll do it's it an to option. test it. We'll it's an option. To do we it. will test it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting week. You're not gonna want to miss it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Unless there was any other games you've been no. playing. No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is episode 31 of Bitcade. And uh, I don't know how long we've been going. Oh, an hour. That's good. That's a good timing. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have anything for us to read, because this is the end of. Bitcade. See, the thing turned. That's how it works. The song plays, and it's all working good. Um, if you guys have anything that you guys want to throw our way, topics, uh, answers to the topics we talked about in this episode, uh, comment section is always open for you. You can go in the bit-by-bit bit episodes and comment in there, or you can also go into the full episode and just comment down there. Um, we are on iTunes. We are on Podbean. We are on all audio platforms, at least the ones that steal our source feed and <laughs> that play it so that you guys can listen. Just search Primal Targets, the same logo, everywhere. Also, if you are a person that doesn't really like going to all of these locations, there's an easier way of doing it by going to PrimalTarget.com. Yes. Please make a little like. <laughs> like a like thing, little, like right here. Yeah, like a little rainbow underneath it, too. Here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bring in the chimes, man. The wind chimes. <laughs> oh my god. He says all this because he's not editing this video. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> it's <where> it's <laughs> if you guys go to primaltarget.com, please go take a look at it. It is a completely designed website, uh, strictly just so that you can get to the content faster. It's one source hub for Primal Target, and uh, it is the first link actually in the description of this video. Yeah. If you go there, uh, please make it a thing to go come back to one of our videos and comment what you like about it or tweet at us at primal underscore target um, and tell us what you like about the website. If there's things that you want us to change, things, you know, we, we're always open. It's it's our first time, so be gentle. My hands right here. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> a, uh, um, yeah, so please just go and... Uh, be, be merry. Be happy. It's almost December. By the time you're watching the end of this video, we only got a couple weeks in November. We'll be gearing up for Christmas. Yeah. Black Friday would already have happened. No, Black Friday is happening next weekend. So be prepared. Be prepared. Yeah, I think. Working. Dang, that sucks. No, I'll be I'm working. Not. <laughs> I'll be working the night before. Oh. <laughs> Where's the night before that? I don't know. I got to my schedule. You work uh, Friday? You know when Thanksgiving is, right? Yes. So, so Thursday. Yes. And then 
Friday. My week is messed up. For okay. That. I think right. I'm working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that week. So go say hi to Ashton at his place of work. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just say you don't know where I'm I work. looking for Ashton Stom. No, not do that. <laughs> Please. I ain't Please. got time to say hi to you at work anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good night, everybody. Bye. That was Ashton. I'm Ryan. <laughs>